friends, how are you today? So can I tell you, I feel like I'm so used to just waving and then doing my makeup and then telling a story after that I almost did that again. I almost just started waving and doing my makeup. We're off to a great start here. Really, we are. <laughs> Anyways, hi friends, how are you today? Welcome back. And to those of you that are new, hi, welcome. My name is Lizbeth. And what I do on my channel is I do my makeup. Well, I tell a story or talk about something that I've, or talk about something that I found that interests me, like a topic that I found that interests me. And it's been a while since I've sat down and talked while doing my makeup because if you've been watching for a bit, you know that um, for the past couple of weeks I've been doing recording myself doing my makeup and then filming myself reading a story after um or my husband has been helping me out by reading the christmas carol this past week so but we finished that a couple of days ago and so now back to doing my makeup while i talk and I'm not professionally trained, but I am working on getting my makeup artist certification. And I really, I like to, I like to like tell stories and talk while I'm doing my makeup because it gives me something to do. And this is not already not turning out heartland, too dark. Um, sorry. Oh, there we go. That's not bad. Um. And I make weird faces when I do my makeup, sorry. So you might see my my super high-tech curtain back there, um, aka the blanket I hang on the door just fell. So I was trying to hang the blanket today and my cat heard me open the door. And whenever she hears me open the door, she's there like a shot. She's gotta go explore Wonderland back there because I'm pretty sure that's what they think that is, even though they've been in there quite a bit. Um, and so I was like trying to hang the blanket and trying to close the door and she's like wedging her body in the door and well, I don't want to hurt her. And okay, so I'm a major softy for that. Okay, for most of our cats. I mean, for all of our cats, I'm a softy. But that girl right there, she just, she has a special spot in my heart. I've We've had her since she was a month old. She's my baby. Um, She's four now, but so we've been together for a while and she's she's pretty much my best friend we cuddle all the time um she knows that she has me wrapped around her finger around her little paw and she definitely uses that against me let me tell you but oh it's right there um but so finally i was just like oh whatever so i left the door open a little bit and so she's been hanging out in the closet and yeah, she just came down and knocked off my blanket. I mean, my super high tech curtain. I think Gabe's back there now and he's gonna go in. I don't know why they love that closet so much. Probably because I have it closed most of the time. And you gotta love what you can't go into all the time, right? I don't even know what I'm doing with my eyes. I'm just... I'm just doing it basically. Oh, and also, do you guys see my little tree? Isn't it cute? We were at the store the other day and they had those on display outside. And I'm like, oh. because because I've been wanting a little tree. We, we don't have a Christmas tree. I know, we really, I know, it's sad, but I don't know. It's also, I'm also a little bit okay with it. I'd like a Christmas tree, but I also worry about the cats because last time we had a Christmas tree with the little one she liked to climb up into the branches and it was super cute don't get me wrong it was adorable but there are just so many things that can go wrong but yeah so I, so we found the Christmas, so we found this little Christmas tree. I'm like, yes, I need that. And my husband's like, all right, fine. And yeah, and a bonus, it's also 
like I was we were looking I was looking at the tags on the trees that they had outside and a lot of them were like they're all like living trees and a lot of them were like you got to plant them and they grow up to like 30 and 60 feet tall like well that is not really feasible where we live where the heck would we put it um but but then we found this one and it's an indoor house plant so as long as I keep it alive we'll be good Yeah, I really don't know what I'm doing with my eyes. I'm just making it up as I go along. I don't think it looks terrible. Actually, it looks kind of good. Yeah, we're going to all that good for now. All right, so I do have a story today, but I don't know, I feel like it's been a long time since we just, since I just sat down and talked in front of the camera. I mean, I did yesterday, but I didn't like the vi how the video turned out yesterday. It wasn't my favorite, but so I just posted that quick one last night, but yeah. All right, so, so also, side note, I don't generally use tinted moisturizers because I usually like a little more coverage on my face, but we're going to try this one today. It's the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. So let's see how it goes. And it's supposed to um, moisturize and prime and... Hold on. Moisturize and prime and this ultra lightweight tinted moisturizer is infused with primer. So it lasts all day. It primes, moisturizes, perfects, and protects it all in one step. And here it is. So that's all that's pretty exciting. We'll see how it works. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I all I don't I all, I always use a moisturizer and a primer and all that good stuff, but I skipped those steps today to see how this works. Huh. I feel like it's a little orangey. Not terrible, but um, also, so I th I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but I've got eczema and it mostly affects my hands, but this year, honestly, it hasn't been too, well, okay, well, this part of the year right now, and usually like when the, the weather changes is when it really acts up for me. And it kind of stinks too because I don't really like the feel of lotion on my hands. I, I don't know, it bugs me. And I feel like I use my hands so often that it wears off so quick anyway. I mean, I know that it soaks into the skin, but I don't know. I just feel like whatever doesn't soak in, I just, I use my hands so much that I, that it wears off. There we go so quickly but yeah so sometimes my hands can get pretty bad because I don't love the feel of lotion on my hands I know I should just suck it up and put on the day lotion but there it is anyway so my hands really haven't been that bad right now which I think is awesome I'll take the win but yesterday I had this old um I had this bottle of mirror that I hadn't used in a long time. And so I was, um, I was looking at it and I got some on my hands and I thought that my hands were okay, but man, it like, it hurt. It 
like burned my hands. And I've used Nair before. I don't use it a lot, but I have used it before and I feel like it hasn't burned my hands. But today, or when I, the other day when I used it, I just, it did. Now my hands aren't happy again. I know, super exciting stuff, right? <laughs> but that's my life. So, I have a story. So, I was looking up, um, like, legends and stories of Christmas that I could use. And I found this story that I like. It's called, the. it's from Russia. It's a Russian legend. It's called The Story of Babushka. And if you don't know, Babushka is Russian for grandmother. And side note, you guys know those, like, those Russian Babushka dolls, the nesting dolls? I used to have some when I was younger. I honestly have no idea what happened to them. <laughs> Sadly, they probably got lost in a move or given away or something. I, I honestly don't know. But I remember they were so fun when I was younger. They were just so neat and cute. I really liked them. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I say that as I'm like, well, I don't know what happened to her. <laughs> but anyway, so like I said, this story is from Russia. And the story of Babushka. So Babushka, and I'm, I do, I think I already said this, but I'm going to repeat it in case I forgot. Um, Babushka is Russian for grandma or grandmother. And so Babushka, she lived in this little village and Babushka was always busy. She was always busy taking care of her home and she's always busy cleaning and cooking and all that good stuff. And as a result, she had the most beautiful house in the village, but, um, because she was always cleaning and stuff, you know, she, Uh, her house was beautiful, but she was always cleaning it. And one evening, she was so busy dusting and cleaning her house that she didn't hear the villagers outside in the square. And they were talking about talking and looking at a new star in the sky. And she didn't hear them doing this because she was so busy cleaning. Sorry, I'm trying to work with this. Consider there we go. She had heard about the new star before, but she thought, what's all the fuss? It's just a new star. And she and she was like, I don't it's just a new star. I don't have time to look at a star. I'm so behind in my work. I must work all night. And so she continued to clean and didn't go out to look at the star. And she also mm -hmm. missed the little line of twinkling lights that was headed towards the, her, their village. And hold on, sorry. So she didn't hear the, she didn't see the line of lights that was coming toward the village near dawn and she didn't hear the pipes and the drums or the um, whispers of the villagers wondering what the lights were and or wondering if they were in an army or a profession of some sort. And she didn't hear the... She didn't hear all of this and then she missed the sudden quiet that came and even the footsteps coming up the path to her door. 
but she couldn't miss the knock on her door. So she opens her door and there's a servant standing there with three kings behind him. And the servant tells her that her house is the finest in the village and his masters need a place to stay. And they would like to stay at her house. Um, hold on just a sec. Sorry. Yeah, so he says, my masters need a place to rest and your house is the best in the village. And Babushka's like, you want to stay here? And the servant says, yes. It would only be until night falls for his masters were following the star in the sky. And so Babushka's, Babushka just kind of gulped and said, well, come in then. So they come in and the kings are very pleased when they see all the pies and homemade bread and cakes that she had baked. And so she asked about her. Okay, so... Babushka was um, hurrying around, helping the kings, serving the kings, and what am I looking for? Yes. Um, sorry. Clearly I'm organized today. But, and so she was asking the king, the kings lots of questions as she bustled around serving them. Like... Oh, I didn't want that wand. Like, have you come a long way? And Kaspar said, yes, a very long way. And where are you going? And Balthior said that Melchior, sorry, Melchior said that they were following the star. But where? The kings did not know, but they believed that it would lead them to a newborn king. Why don't you come with us? asked Balthazar. You could bring him a gift like we do. I bring gold and my calling colleagues bring spices and perfumes. And she says, oh, well, I'm not sure that he would welcome me. And what can I bring as a gift? And then she says, I know I could bring a toy. She says, I have a cupboard full of toys before my baby, for my baby son died when he was a child, when he was young. So, Balthazar stopped her when she went to tidy the kitchen up and said, the new king could be your king too. Come with us when the star appears tonight. So, Babushka just kind of sighs and says, I'll think about it. And as the king slept, Babushka went around quietly tidying up the house. And like she was always doing, but she was still doing it while the king slept just quietly. And she... And she thought, what an extra lot of work there is, having the kings there. And she was like, and, and this new king, what a funny idea to go off to with the kings to find him. 
And then Babushka shook herself and because there was no time to be daydreaming, there was so much work to be done. And she thought to herself that she was like, anyway, what, how long would I be able to go to be gone for? And who would watch my house? And there's just too much work to be done. I couldn't, and everything must be cleaned when they're gone. I couldn't just leave it. So finally night comes again. And the king's awake and, or awaken, awake, awaken. And, um, Balthazar. And yes, and then suddenly it was night again. The king's awaken and Balthazar asks and says, are you ready, Babushka? And Babushka says that she, um, and Babushka says, I'll come tomorrow. I must just tidy here first and find a gift. So the kings sadly went away and Babushka ran back into her house, came to get on with her work. And finally she finished and she went to a small cupboard where she sorry. So she went to a small cupboard where she gazed at the toys that had been there uh, from her small son. And she looks at these toys and from when her small son passed away. But she looks at these toys and they're all dusty. And she's just like, none of these will do. They're so dusty. So she takes out all the toys and cleans them until they shine. And... Then she, so once she's cleaned all the toys until they shine, she, or she cleaned these toys through the night. And finally she looks out the window and it's morning. And she knows that the kings will have found another place to rest for the day until they, until the star comes up again. And she was, and so she thought she could easily catch up with them, but first she needed some rest. So she goes to sleep and then she because she's so tired from staying up all night cleaning those toys. So she goes to sleep and then when she wakes up again, it's night. And so she quickly pulled on her cloak and sorry. So she quickly pulled on her cloak, and I know I've said that a few times. Packed the toys in the basket and ran down the lane. Or and ran down the path that the kings had taken. That's dark. All right. This might be interesting. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to play this for a sec. Sorry that I'm a little darker than I meant to and needed to do some buffing of that. I think it turned out a little better at least. Um, so it's dark outside and Babushka, uh, heads down the path that the kings had taken. And everywhere she asked, have you seen the kings? 
And, oh yes, everyone told her. We saw them and they went that way. So for days, Babushka is following the path that the kings have taken. And she, and she follow, and she's following the trail that the kings left in the, oof, sorry, and the villages, and as she's following this trail, the villages are becoming larger. And so she, finally she comes to a, a palace and she's like, a palace, that's where a royal baby would be born. So she stops and she asks a palace guard and she's like, is the royal baby here? And the palace guard says, no, there are no royal babies here. And so then she asks him about the, what about the three kings? And he's like, oh yeah, they were here. At, um, but they didn't stay long. And they, and they soon went back on their journey. And so she asks, but she's like, where, where did they go? And the guard says, to Jerusalem. Or, sorry, not Jerusalem, Bethlehem. Though, and, but he says, Bethlehem, that was the place. Though, I don't, hold on. This is not going to be the best video I've ever done. I'm just telling you that right now. <laughs> Anyways, so she, I apologize in advance. A little more. So I'm just trying to make sure there aren't any like harsh lines here. Don't know if I'm succeeding, but I'm trying. Eh, I'll take it. So, sorry. So she, so the palace guard tells her that they've gone to Bethlehem. Though he doesn't know why, because it's a poor place. And so she sets off towards Bethlehem. And it was evening when Babushka arrived. And she goes to... And she goes to the local inn and asks about the baby. Or, and asked about the kings. And the, uh, and the landlord is like, oh yes, they were here. And side note, I quite like this pencil. And also, I know most people spoolie before they put the color on. But I don't know. I really like spooling after I put the color on. I feel like it just distributes it a little more. Maybe that's just me, though. So the landlord tells Babushka that the kings had been there for had been there two nights ago, and they were very excited, but they didn't even stay the night. And what about the baby? Babushka cried. And 
So you need to concentrate on this real quick. I like I'm getting my eyelashes more than my lid. Oh, that one went thicker than I wanted it to. Oh well. You guys so happy that I don't hide any of my boo-boos. I don't know why I just said boo-boos, but I did. So that's out there. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, this is not going according to plan. Well, we're gonna make try and make it work anyways. Had an idea in my head. Sorry, I promise I will go back to the story. Well, that layer worked a little better, I think. Maybe. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's my musical washer. All right, what was I going to do next? Right. All right. Sorry. So the innkeeper tell, again tells Babushka that the kings had been there two nights ago and they hadn't even stayed the night. But, and the baby was there as well. But the, um, And he, uh, oh, and the innkeeper told Babushka that the kings had asked about the baby too. And he can see the disappointed, a disappointment in Babushka's eyes. And so he offers to show her where the baby had mm -hmm. been. And he tells her that on the night that their baby was there, the inn had been very busy. And so he hadn't been able to give them a room, but he put them in his stable. So he takes her across the yard to the stable. And then he also, look at this wand. 
It's interesting. Sorry, another side note. But so he leads her across the um across the yard to the stable. And then he leaves her alone in the stable. And she's standing there and um and then she hears somebody call Babushka from the doorway and he's standing there and he's looking kindly at her and she wonders if he knew where the family had gone for she now realizes that this baby king is the most important thing in the world to her and I'm not loving that my eyeshadow right now it's or the eyeliner look it's transferring. Oh, a lot a little more too. I'm trying to hide it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so Babushka, back to Babushka. She, so she asks the innkeeper if he knew where the family had been going. Because, like I said, she now knew that this baby king was the most important thing in the world to her. And he tells her that they have gone to Egypt and safety. And the kings have returned to their countries. But one of them told me ab about you. I am sorry, but you are too late, he told Babushka. It is said that Babushka is still searching for Jesus today. Hold on a sec. Uh, okay. Dang it. So I'm gonna use it anyway. See how this goes. Not very well. I'm stubborn though. So I'm still gonna try and use it. Probably not the best idea I've ever had in my life, not gonna lie. Okay, anyway, so. I actually, I really liked this legend. And for me, and this is what I took away from it. This is totally me personally. But what I took away from it is sometimes in life, I should stop talking while we're trying to do our lips. That's not what I took away from it. But sometimes in life, we get caught up in those, those little things that, you know, the things I'm talking about, the things like cleaning and, um, cleaning I don't, whatever else, the cleaning is a thing that's coming to me right, right now because of the story, but the things that are important, but at the same time, they're not the most important thing in the world, but hold on.
Um, we get caught up in things like cleaning and appearances. I know that's kind of funny I say that while I'm doing my makeup. But we get caught up in those things that, yeah, they're important. But they are not the most important thing. But sometimes I feel like we think they're the most important thing. Okay, um, when I say we, I feel like I'm... I'm not, okay, I maybe I, I am saying we in general, but I'm also talking about myself. We think they're so important. And sometimes we lose track, we lose sight of what's really important. And Babushka found that out too late, that she had really been concentrating on something that in the long run was not that important. I mean, it was important, but she was so worried about this that she could not see the most important thing. And the most important thing would have been to go see that baby. But she was too late. And sometimes when we get caught up in this, in the things that are important, but not that important, if you know what I mean, we lose out on what's really important. So this holiday season, I think... You don't have to listen to me if you don't want to. But I think we should all concentrate on those things that are really important. Family, friends, love, all that good stuff. The little things, they can wait. The big things, they can't always wait. So I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. There is three more days till Christmas. Woohoo! Um... I hope you guys ha are having a wonderful week of Christmas and looking forward to seeing your family or friends or whoever you um, are saying. Please make sure you be safe and have a wonderful holiday. I mean, I'm going to be back tomorrow, but and for the rest of the week. I'll be here all year. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, and, and beyond, but I'll be here for the rest of the year. <laughs> I, I think I'm funnier than I really am sometimes. I'm funny, guys. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to finish wrapping it up. Well, what did I want to do? I wanted to. Um, so I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday week with your families and friends, whoever you're spending Christmas with. I hope you all have some amazing people to spend the holiday with. Even if this year's Christmas is a little smaller or a little different, I still hope you have an amazing holiday and an amazing Christmas. And please don't forget to like and to hit that like and subscribe button just down there. That way you'll get notified of when I upload more content. And oh, let me show you. Here's my look. I don't. The eyeshadow's not my favorite. Again, I didn't really know. I I was just I was making it up as I went along. But actually, I do quite like how the rest of the look turned out. I think it turned out really well. I struggled with my contour a little bit too, but I think. I think it turned out pretty good. I feel like it's a it's a lighter look. It's I like it. It's kind of kind of natural, just kind of I like it. Um anyways. So I hope you got again, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Please remember to treat everyone with kindness and respect. Everyone has a story. We don't know what it is. And so a little kindness, respect, and all those good things make the world a much better place. So I will see you tomorrow and bye.